Okay, so I have a napkin, a linen napkin, and I have one of these gorgeous little flowers and I will do a napkin ring for it. You can of course use any kind of color, size, whatever you feel like. I'm using this a little bit chunkier version that is the same pattern but with a heavier yarn weight. So follow me and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so for this super quick one, we are going to create a ribbon and all we need is some yarn, a hook that goes with it, a yarn needle, darning needle, and a scissor. And that's it, literally, super easy. So you also will have to have one of these flowers made already, but they are so, so quick. So if you haven't done one already, go and do that and then meet me up for the beginning of the ribbon. Okay, so how I decide how big I want my ribbon to be, how wide it should be, is by measuring the back piece of the leaves here. So for me, this would be a five centimeters. A wide ribbon, you can do it thinner, you can do it wider, whatever suits you. And this is just simply a little rib. So begin with a knot, slip knot, and then chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, could that be enough? No, not really, almost. Seven, eight, nine, ten. How about that? We'll see. Ah, too many. Eight would have been good. So we are backing to nine because that is our turn machine. So work until we have one size that works with your project. In my case it was chaining eight plus one turning chain. And then into the second one second loop from the hook, we don't have to look at that the entire video, make a single crochet. And then make a single crochet in the next and all across. So eight in total. Three, four, five, six, seven, and the last one, eight. Make a turning chain and turn. So now you will be looking to your work's back side and into the back loop, that is actually the front loop, but for us it's the back loop now, make a single crochet and one in each back loop across. This will create a rib which will make it a little bit stretchy so you can attach it to your napkin very very easily and take it off just as easily. You can also do a normal ribbon. I mean placing the single crochets in the entire stitch and make it a flat one with buttons to, to use to open and everything. But I think this elastic one, semi elastic one, because this is quite stiff, uh, will work better. You can also use something with a little bit more give like a nylon or a wool or anything. Um, that will really be stretchy and sit very, very tightly to your napkin. So this is what we will do. We will single crochet all the way to the next side in the back loops, chain one and then turn. So it now measures 12 centimeters across, which is absolutely perfect for my napkin. You can test on yours, just fold it and place it over and make sure that it will lay properly on there without tightening it too much. You don't want scrinkled Crinkle? <laughs> that is Swedish it's mixed with English. Crinkle uh, napkins. <laughs> but what I will do now is I have finished. This is round 18. Yeah, 18 uh, rounds of single crochets in the back loops with turning chains. And what I will do is I will put these two sides together. Yes. And then now I will do. Yeah, I will do that. Sorry. 
I will <laughs> put these two sides together and do my hook into the loop again and just simply work slip stitches through both sides to close. Let's see if I can find another line this so I always want to go through two bars of threads just to make sure that it is really secure. So just enter through all of these slip stitch through. There should be eight in total since we had eight single crochets per row. There we go. And the final one, I think. If you can squeeze one in in the corner, do so. So nine, perhaps then. So there you have it. What you will do now is just turn it inside out and you won't even be telling where this is. And then cut your yarn and fasten up the ends. Um, however, leave a long thread with this because we are going to attach the flower with the same. So I would just turn this back and secure this little guy, the ending, and then I'll get back to sewing and attaching this one, okay? So weave in the tiny end and meet me up. Okay, so I have now hidden my short end and I had a little accident where I accidentally <laughs> sewed attached <laughs> the long thread. So I had to rip it a bit and it broke, but I think it will be fine. So I will just thread my needle. <laughs> so don't do that. Don't sew attached your long yarn with your short yarn end. Um, so I just, I had to rip up the last one. Okay. Luckily this is on the back side so this won't be showing. So flip this over so you have the pretty side up and then just bring your needle to the front. There we go. And then we are going to take our needle and go through a line here up into the center like that. This will be hidden so it's not so it's not so so very carefully where you place this. But go into the middle, middle section there, and then grab your little flower like this and simply do no. Okay, I'm rethinking this is better if I keep on going to the other side. Okay. Sorry, so don't listen to me. Don't stop in the middle. Keep on going to the other side just so you have a line here of thread. And just <laughs> attach it a little bit more before. This is uh, creativity in its best form. I think we will do it like this instead. So this is how I will hide my ends a little bit roughly because, yeah, this was definitely worked on the go. <laughs> so, okay, we have a yarn end at an end and then just simply place this over and then go through the shallow side of the stitches, not working through the petal leaves but on the back side of your crochet, just simply whip stitch this secure maybe not whip stitch i'm not even sure which stitch i'm making right now <laughs> so i'm just going through the back side some stitches making sure it doesn't show on the front and then just simply attach it very crudely right now <laughs> oh my. well This is just how it can turn out. So I'm going through the legs of a single crochet round here. Or attempting to. There we go. 
and then yeah just working through the back side like this all the way around so from here up here over here and down here and back down and then you should be absolutely perfectly done <laughs> so meet me up there and I'll spare you my struggling with the needle today. <laughs> so, see you later. Okay, so I used a much larger needle than I needed. It was much easier once I um, switched down a size or two. But this is how it will look. You would have attached it around the base of this. I will see if I can show you here. Around this green edge you place this little ribbon and then you simply fasten off by going up and down in the same space that you join the slip stitch join here and there you have it you ju now just need your napkin and then you are ready for dinner but there you have it super cute super simple and who says you can't use towels for napkins not sisters in stitch we firmly believe that you can use whatever you have at home but it looks absolutely gorgeous and by looking at this right now i think this would be a nice curtain holder as well wouldn't it so cute so there we go we have three ways of using your little christmas star flower we have the napkin holder the little ornament with the hideout on the back and we also have the large one, the hanging ornament with a 3D flower. So I hope you have had a lot of fun. I know this will be a lovely Christmas. I have so many flowers happening here. And yeah, I'm excited to see what we will do next. So have a lovely day. Don't forget to share, tag us in your makes, um, leave a little comment, subscribe to our channel and have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and we'll see you back real soon. Bye!